I'm going to give you a little shop update here. I've got the trailer in. Um, there's a couple of things. I brought it in to uh, kind of uh, mount the uh, chain rack onto it. But when I had it in here, to begin with, it was really dirty. I, I washed it off and got a lot of mud off of it. Um, but there was a couple of spots on the trailer um, that had rusted where the powder coating had been scraped off. And w one of the things is the ramps. Uh, when you put them down, they dig in. When you drive vehicles up, it kind of uh, scrapes them against the... Uh, scrapes them against the uh, the pavement or whatever you're on. So what I did is I just had a little black paint and the rusty spot was basically on here. There was a couple of spots on, uh, on the rail too that were rusty. So I just sprayed some uh, black paint over it just to uh, take care of the rust. Um, but while I had it in here, I... Um, they had a sale on uh, Thompson's Water Seal uh, deck stain, and it's an oil-based stain. Now, I, I really don't like these, uh, these paint type of stain things, but um, for the trailer bed, it's fine. Um, you know, I never put it on a deck in a house or anything. I just don't like it because you don't see the wood grain through it. It's more of a kind of a paint type of effect. But um, anyways, I, I uh, decided to do that. And uh, being a little shop update, um, I'll give you a little teaser. Um, there's the chain wreck. Um, but the rest of the video is to come of building it and uh, mounting it on the trailer. Um, but I, uh, again, I had it in here just to do that. I'm going to let it dry and take it back out. Um, and again, the only way I could get it in to the shop is with the uh, forklift. I um, Somebody had borrowed the forklift to uh, do some work at their shop and... Uh, I had to go get it back from them, and uh, I brought it in with the the hitch adapter that I made for the forklift. Um, but uh, I'll give you a uh, more of an update. But uh, that's it for the trailer right now.